Hello again, friends. When is the last time we were amazed by what someone said or did? Today we have a little story from the Gospel of Mark that has people amazed over and over again. Listen to these words. They went to Capernaum, and when the Sabbath came, Jesus went into the synagogue and began to teach. The people were amazed at his teaching, because he taught them as one who had authority, not as the teachers of the law. Everyone who surrounded Jesus was amazed. Are we? Or are we simply too familiar with the words and stories? Are we too jaded by the failure of so many we held in high esteem only to have their personal lives reveal a darker side to them? Are we too small in our faith, believing only what we see around us? People were amazed both by what Jesus had to say and by the authority with which he said it. Maybe it's time we ask the Holy Spirit to help us see and hear the words of Jesus in a fresh way today. Let the amazing truth he is revealing come alive in us again. Jesus is God, and he is speaking to ordinary little folks like us, and that in itself should amaze us. Well, Lord, we want to pause and do just that. We agree that you have the words of eternal life, and we hardly hear them anymore. We hold your words too ordinary, and we ask forgiveness for that. Open our ears, our eyes, our hearts, so we can hear in a fresh way what you are saying to us and all that it means. Heal our hearts and minds so we could be amazed that you, the holy God of heaven, wants to communicate with us and finds a way to do that. Holy Spirit, help us to understand what you are saying and enter into those life-giving words. Amen. Now, it wasn't just what Jesus was saying that amazed the people. It's also the miracles he did. Jesus, in these moments, sent away a demonic spirit from a man in such a way that the people were all so amazed that they asked each other, what is this? A new teaching? And with what authority? He even gives orders to impure spirits, and they obey him. So now people are also amazed at the authority that is demonstrated by Jesus. O oh, loving God, all authority is yours, and we need to recognize and acknowledge that today. You've proven over and over again that you have authority over evil spirits. You told your disciples, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. So our prayer today comes from Paul, who said it better than we could. When he said, I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people and his incomparably great power for us who believe. That power is the same as the mighty strength he exerted when he raised Christ from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly realms, far above all rule and authority, power and dominion, and every name that is invoked, not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. And God placed all things under his feet and appointed him to be head over everything for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills everything in every way. Amen. Well, let's both enjoy and trust in the authority that Jesus has but also let's live in the authority that he gives us as he lives in us today. Have a great day.